Hi everybody, it's me Ali. In this video, we will be going to simulate the two-dimensional case of the spherical bullet with the speed of 650 meter per second. So let's get started. <coughs> so the first step is to find the tutorials of the sonic foam here. The tutorials, we go to the incompressible. No, this one must be compressible it must be compressible sonic foam with the RAS and go with the prism copy into our folder case paste here okay rename it um, 2d spherical yeah. okay good now go on to the open foam here so the, this is basically Go to uh, go to this folder. Um, CD. Okay, let's check the initial mesh uh, of this uh, case prism case. So as you can see, oh, it has no initial case because oh yeah, I think they use the block mesh dig here. So anyway. Um, the first step is to prepare the geometry, right? So we will do it in the Salome. So create a new document here and go on to the geometry module. So we will be creating the um, the circle. So the circle, I think, okay, the radius will be 0 0.06, quite small. Okay, good. And then the the background, the background. What is the background? The, the background will be the rectangular face. So uh, the height will be one. The width will be one, maybe. No one. It's it's uh, six. Okay. That's it. We have this, right? Okay, and I think we can make a bigger. I think because so the height will be two, for example, and the weight will be six. I think it's better, or maybe five, maybe. Yeah. And close. So this is what we have, and let's um, translate the the face of the the rectangular face a bit into the x direction here. Oh, sorry, into the y direction. Um, one. Okay, I think that's enough. Okay, good. Now. Let's rotate the face with respect to the y axis to 90 degree. Okay, good. Now we have this and we have this. So the next step is to um, let's do the partition. Okay. The object and the tool object will be this and the rotation. Okay, good. Now we have this and let's uh, do the suppress face here. We will suppress the internal face because we only need the fluid domain. Okay. Okay, good. Now we have this one and now we should be ready to, to mesh. So let's go to the for first we need to save it. Okay, I think we can go to the CAD here. So, to the spherical bullet. Okay, now I'm going to the mesh module. In this case, we will be going to use to use um the NetGen1 D2D directly because it's simple 
and it's quite good so let's do with the fake course setup um, let's say one save and start computing let's check the result the initial result this is the initial result oh wait oh I think we better we rotate the the rest so okay let's delete this and back to our geometry module and let's do let's rotate it with respect to the z-axis okay z-axis will be 90 or minus 90 okay I think minus 90 will be good okay create it again and chain 1d 2d apply save okay good now we have a better angle of view okay so it's very bad mesh so <laughs> let's um, modify the mesh let's put a point two maybe or one apply still not good um, let's do one more half of it maybe one half of it or two not enough still not enough so we have okay let's do the back to the geometry we need to prepare the the group of the of the of the of the edges here so the first edges will be the inlet here here is the inlet apply outlet <coughs> apply oops at first and apply now top will be this bottom will be this and the rest is the ball I mean the bullet we name it the ball okay we have this two oh sorry four edges and close okay good now go on to the mesh again clear the mesh and so I found a very good configuration here for this case um, we have this point 0.2 and point 0.2 for the minimum and the maximum size because we force the to the Nagian 2D to put a uh, fairly or quite uh, uniform distribution of the mesh here and also the net gen here and also the viscous layer we put 0 0.01 which is half of the of the of the of the two dimensional mesh size here so apply and close and let's um, compute this So here we have the result is quite good I think this is the the wall uh, boundary for two-dimensional uh, mesh and also the, the boundary layers is created here in the top and bottom edges because um, in my experience if we do not put the boundary layer here the calculation will crash somehow so yeah we put the boundary layer here to to, uh, to make it uh, run smoothly so let's try to uh, to do the 
to convert the result into open form format okay apply here and do the modification let's take a look here we will be extruding the mesh into the z-axis so the modification extrusion to the z-axis which is when Point one maybe yes point one and generate the group okay good okay once it finish we can delete the edges here delete and we have this group already here. So bolt extrude, bolt extrude, top extrude, outlet extrude, and inlet extrude. And we can convert it into the UNV to more to further for further uh, process. Um, let's put it here. Oh wait, let's put it here. Okay. Let's name it. Um, yes, mesh one. Whatever. <coughs> So once we finish with this, we can go to the um, uh, to the case here. Okay, let's do the ideas UNV to form mesh one. Enter. And check your mesh. Okay, as you can see, the mesh is okay, and let's check it in the powerful. So this is it, and here we have. Okay, good. So now we should be ready to to do the real simulation of the. Uh, the sonic form here for the two-dimensional spherical bullet. So, see you in the next video. Bye!